Hey guys, welcome back to Intruder Security. This video will guide you through the installation of Kali Linux 2024.2, the latest version in VirtualBox 7 on a Windows. And don't worry, we will be having a step-by-step -step guide, to, so watch this video till the end and learn how to install Kali Linux 2024 in a VirtualBox on a Windows PC. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Since we are installing Kali Linux in a virtual box, so make sure you have enabled hardware virtualization on your PC or laptop. If it's not enabled, you need to check the BIOS settings and turn on the hardware virtualization. It's time to start installing Kali Linux in a virtual box on a window. If you don't have virtual box in your PC or laptop, please do refer our video on how to install virtual box 7 on Windows. The link is in the description box. Now to download Kali, go ahead and open up your favorite browser and head over to Kali.org. We will be installing the latest version 2024.2, which was released this week. We will be using standard ISO of Kali Linux in order to customize as needed. Let's proceed with installer images. Now click here to download the ISO file. Your download will begin in few seconds. Wait for it to complete. Once you have downloaded the ISO image, it's time to install it. Open up your virtual box. We are going to create a virtual machine for Kali Linux. To do so, click on the new button. Now we need to enter some of the details of our machine. Name the virtual machine and choose the folder location where all the VM files will be stored. Here you need to select the ISO file you downloaded before. Rest of the settings will get auto configured. Now click on Next. Allocate the RAM and CPU cores for the Kali Linux virtual machine. I am going to use 3 GB of RAM and 3 CPU cores for faster performance. Make sure the slider stays within the green color. Then click on Next. Now allocate the storage space of 20 GB or higher. In my case, I have a, around 130 GB of free space and I am going to keep it default as it's a temporary machine. If you have higher usage, you can increase as per usage. This is the summary of the virtual machine. Click on Finish. We have done creating Kali Linux virtual machine. Now we need to change some settings. To do that, select the machine and click on Settings. Inside General Settings, change version from Ubuntu to Debine 64-bit. Choose Advanced and set the shared clipboard and drag and drop as bidirectional. This allows clipboard sharing and file between Windows or host OS and Kali Linux. Then, select System from the sidebar, go to Processor, and select Enable PAE. We have done with all our settings, and it's time to fire up our machine. To do so, click on the Start button. Then, click anywhere inside the virtual machine. Keep in mind, when you click inside a virtual machine, the cursor control will be bound to the guest OS. To release it, press the right control key on your keyboard to regain the control of the cursor on the host OS. Now, using the arrow keys, choose Graphical Install and press Enter key. Go ahead and set the system language for now. I will prefer English. Here you need to select your location where you live. I will proceed with India. Xeer set the keyboard layout. I will suggest it to keep it default. Here, enter Kali as the host name and click on Continue. For the domain name, leave it empty and continue. Here you need to create a user account and password. For now, I will keep it as Intruder. You can change as per your preference. We need to choose where the ARM machine should be installed. Use the entire disk. Then select the default virtual disk. Choose all in one partition if you are beginner. If you have experience, you can proceed with other options. This is the summary of the partition. Finish it and continue.
Now here we have to choose the desktop environment and the tools. I have tried XFC and Genome both work fine without any issues. But for now, I would like to use a Genome desktop and click on continue. Now it will install all the tools and desktop environment you choose. We are almost there to complete our installation. Have a cup of coffee and relax. To install the Grub Boot Loader and select the default virtual disk. This will allow your VM to boot properly. Your Kali will restart once you have finished the installation step. Congratulations! You've successfully installed Kali Linux 2024.1 on your virtual machine. Log in using the username and password you created during installation. Now, you can customize your Kali Linux to your preferences and start exploring the vast array of tools available. Remember to use Kali Linux responsibly and ethically. That's all for this video. Hope you liked this simple and quick installation video. Please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such content. Till then, happy hacking!